Hey guys, welcome back. It's and we're gonna talk about StockX again. We are. I I know. I'm gonna get everyone's gonna be like, why would you ever buy from there? I'm not a hype dog sixty nine. Why would I ever be shopping on StockX? Uh but I, I don't know. I think it's I think it's important to talk about. We're gonna have a little conversation here. We're gonna take a look at um I guess maybe the lack of the only possible benefits of purchasing stuff on there, other than uh, if you're a, a hype dogger that wants to, to get a package that says StockX on it, which, you know, in this day and age, probably not a good idea to uh, to have that packaging. I'm not sure what they actually ship in. Uh, I would imagine they probably have some kind of branded packaging. But uh, in terms of thievery, you don't, you don't want that packaging. So I want to know down below, guys, have you ever considered, would you ever consider buying off of StockX? And please, if you have some reason for it or reason not to, let me know that as well. Um, personally... Never at any point did I ever want to purchase anything off of StockX, other than one time where they uh, there was a, a coupon for $50 off. Uh, there was no stipulations. It was just $50 off. I think it couldn't apply to shipping. Um, but um, I did I did purchase an item with that, that coupon. They ended up, um, the coupon was supposed to be for certain people, but it wasn't limited to certain people, uh, which is very stupid on their part. Uh, so I, I signed up for that reason. Tried to purchase some Pokemon cards that were, they were very overpriced. But when you when you're getting fifty dollars off, why not? Well, that uh, all the transactions were were canceled. So um, I don't I don't know exactly who messed up on their part for that, but they they did. It was bad. Regardless, let's uh, let's get into it. And, and, and that is at the only point. At any point, we're gonna look at some pricing examples of why you shouldn't be buying from there. Um, and also some some examples of you know if you're just as likely or more likely to get fake stuff and they're not going to do anything about it, why the hell are you buying from them? What what is the what is the purpose if there's no like super guarantee plus um, kind of guarantee? It, it maybe maybe it's just a catch all. It's another expanding out of sneakers into like collectible trading trading cards. That kind of thing, just because they, they saw the money was there. So you might as well toss that on there too. Get the Hype Dogger Beast 95 69ers to, to pile in and to buy some Pokemon cards on there as well. Because they're already buying their sneakers there. I've heard, I think there's some people that say that buying sneaker there, sneakers there is a good idea. Or it can be a good idea. Something about authentication. But also we have people complaining that they, they also receive fake sneakers. So I don't know what the point is. If anyone knows, I'm all ears. So we also had the, uh, I guess in terms of Pokemon, the Pokemon community, Pokemon people probably have a, a little bit of a sour taste in their mouth from the, the StockX debacle uh, that was the unlisted leaf break, the coffee breakers break, which it should have been called coffee breakers break. But I guess no one's, no one had heard. Not no one. I'm, I'm sure somebody has heard of the Coffee Breakers. I sure as hell haven't. I don't know anyone that has um, or that, that mentioned like, oh, yeah, the Coffee breaks are, Breakers are breaking in. So um, a little bit of a misleading thing. We had celebrations in the heat of the moment, in the heat of the, oh, my God, scalper daddies to, to oblivion or ruining the market and everything else. Um, celebrations was very available uh, and is very available at the moment. Uh, but... Um, it ended up being at the time uh, we were in kind of a position where everything was selling out ever. Every Flip Daddy 69 was going to Walmart and clearing out the shelves. People were upset about it. People were, I'm beating the scalpers and filling their shopping cart um, <laughs> with as many products as possible. Um, and all the sealed collections, all the people with the, the shelves in the background with all their, their modern product that they got from Walmart, which is not a good deal. Don't buy stuff from Walmart, guys. Go to PSAPikachu.com instead. If you're in, in the United States, uh, it'll be a much better deal. If, if there's stuff that you think you really want it on release, get a pre-order in before the pre-orders sell out. Just And then be done with it. No, no drive. I mean, I, the people that drive around to Walmarts and crap like that, uh, to try to find certain products and, and stuff like that. I was just like, I can't imagine having that much time in my day to run around town, to waste gas, and or waste a ton of time if, you, if you're not, if you're using like public transit or something like that. Regardless, uh, the, the unlisted leaf break, I'm going to go ahead and assume that he didn't totally know what was going on. Uh, to put your name on something where it's just a bunch of people uh, like rapid fire opening. Uh, shout out to my fig spot who, uh, who posted this. Um, this image, a little little comparison here. We got the uh, the the Wonk. I guess it's the Wonka factory. Wonka factory, uh, with everyone loading up the boxes, 
but uh but yeah it was it was just a bunch of people that weren't unlisted leaf unlisted leaf was not even at the at the venue so it's not like he had a one in one in five shot or one in four shot of of someone of of, of ando actually opening your stuff which I, i'm sure people thought that he was going to at least be there we had a bunch of people with gloves they were showing addresses of the people that were receiving the stuff the packs were very overpriced i mean it, they kind of have to be but also like they were just like ripping through the packs I, I, I hear this all the time but gloves are not you don't need gloves to open pokemon cards to open trading cards um in, even in terms of like if if somebody's handling ancient uh texts and stuff like that old books you don't use gloves. You just have to have clean hands. You wash your hands beforehand to get the oils off of them. Uh, you're not wearing um, multicolored latex gloves. And Regardless, uh, absolute disaster because they were just rifling through as many packs, opening as many packs as possible. Uh, if it was framed in a different way, maybe it would be a cool thing to, to witness. Um, also, celebrations, probably a, a little bit on the boring side to see acts being mass open but like what a what an absolute disaster and that's why i'm saying i'm assuming that they like just paid unlisted leaf to like put his name on this stuff uh and 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 charge too much for packs and then not have them there in any way i, I don't know it was it was it was sketchy regardless that's not why we're here today we're taking a look at this uh post here on reddit and now um, i'm gonna need you guys to take this with a you always have to take these resealed things with a giant grain of salt because didn't you know did they have video evidence from start to finish was there like a tamper proof uh thing that that, that stock x did they show all signs of it um there's a lot of stuff that's missing and weird about this uh this opening uh but uh in at the end of the day uh if if it's an ongoing thing that uh, that StockX is not going to guarantee the fact that your stuff isn't resealed, and you're paying more on there than you would other places from reputable sale. Don't worry, we're gonna look. We're gonna look at the end of the video here uh, at some comparisons and how you should be able to find reputable sellers. Um, the more expensive, the older the product, the the more reputable the person you're buying from needs to be. It's, that's that's a huge factor. That's the biggest thing. Everyone's just like, hey, can you tell if this is real or fake? And, and, and not only just the look of it, because if you're looking at photos or anything else, um, if you're taking someone's word for it, the, you, have to, you have to be buying from somebody that has a reputation. Uh, a little bit less important if you're, if you're opening this stuff uh, and there's a way that you can get your money back, which is why if, if you can't get it back on StockX, if you're, if you're buying something on StockX at an increased price and you open it and it's, got, it's, it's resealed, then what? Like, and this is another instance of like the Japanese product, which has you know been way out of control, uh, pricing wise. Also, now we got uh, another example of of resealed stuff. So we've seen the EV Hero stuff be resealed. Uh, we see um, we we've seen all the all the modern Japanese stuff. So you got to be careful with that. Um, and uh, it's a shame. It's a, it's kind of a shame. It kind of ruins like anyone that's looking to hold stuff that's sealed, whether they're doing it to, to make money off of it or whether they're doing it to just um, to have something in their collection that they love. Uh, maybe they want to open it someday. Maybe they don't. Maybe they're saving it for a special occasion. But when you're saving it for a special occasion uh, and uh, and it's been resealed for years and years, that's uh, that's a bad feeling. And shame on the people that are doing this. Like, just in general, like... You, you you do not at any point need to be a sketch ball doing shady things in order to to if you want to get ahead if you want to um, make it into some sort of business you don't have to take advantage of people especially with modern product like this is embarrassing all right let's watch it so um yes yeah, so I guess I was saying like the 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 reddit user here uh he uh, is no longer on on reddit apparently. Um, I couldn't find the user because I was going to ask them more questions, find out what's going on here. But here we have it. We have the, the Team Skull Pikachu collection. We'll pay attention here to what is inside the, inside the box. Spoiler alert, it is not what you should get from the box. All right. Give it a crack. Um, 
I don't know, like, and this is weird, like, doing, like, an unboxing experience where they're, like, showing all sides of it. I mean, you want to record this kind of thing anyway, uh, just in case something goes bad. All right, let's pause it here. So, we got, um, I'm not a Japanese Pokemon sealed product expert, but I, I don't think we should have a, uh, a, a Glaceon VMAX in here from, is that from Eevee Heroes? It looks like it's the Japanese copy. All right, weird enough already, as is. Um, and we got some blue packs here. Let's see what those are. So we got we got some leftover wrapper that they just stuck in the box. Uh, this this repack doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Open. Yeah, it's been open. Like, like it is, it's, is there actually a team bag like that that comes in this product? Should have looked up the actual one beforehand, just to do a comparison. So you get, um, English. I don't know if you guys noticed there, but we got, we get English evolutions that come out of the box. Um, so again, this we got we got some clues here. We got some clues. We got evolutions coming out of the box. So seemingly someone. Uh, from the English side of things, I, I mean, I guess it could be somebody in, in Japan, but it's weird to uh, to be repacking this with evolutions packs. If these are legitimate, again, I would love to know if they actually ended up being like legitimate sealed evolutions packs. At one point in time, evolutions was like abundant in abundance. It was in everything. No one wanted it. I know, shocker, surprise, Pikachu face, uh, but um, weird that. At the time that your your Eevee Hero stuff came out, um, the evolutions packs would have been reasonably. And again, the video quality is so bad that like we can't tell if they're resealed. Um, maybe they're even like fake packs. Like what Eevee Hero Eevee Heroes evolutions is expensive enough that you wouldn't be repacking with it. Like you could put anything in there that's the the appropriate weight if you really wanted to put packs in there. This is not the cheapest option. So that's a little bit weird. Also that if the if the Glaceon was Japanese but then we have English repacked packs that are getting stuck in here. I'd also like to see what's going on with the sleeves and and this stuff here. Um if the contents were removed or changed. Would be would be nice to know. Packs that have been opened already. Oh yeah, I guess they were opened already. All right, so uh, the repacked evolutions. Um, I guess somebody was somebody that was opening evolutions, and this is the kind of thing that like if StockX was actually providing any sort of service, they'd have to look into with the seller. Is this an ongoing issue with the seller or the person that provided the product? Um, and if it is, then that becomes a huge issue. It's it's stuff that they're probably not going to do. Short of like if they get a billion complaints from one person having resealed stuff. Uh, but at the same time, like how many of these would have been sold or could have been sold before, you know, and people are just leaving them sealed. Uh, they're not breaking them open. And then the more people that, you know, transact with that exact product that's uh, that's been resealed, the worse it gets. We got some com comments here. We got some people hating on StockX, um, but yeah, it's just it's it's just bad to see. Um, we got people talking about the sneakers, the, the using using StockX for for sneakers. We got some off-topic people talking about how taxes are theft. We got <laughs> we got we got we got scalpers. We got I mean yeah I mean I don't scalping is not the issue here. Or reselling is not the issue here. The issue here is that like somebody is like, is pulling out the contents of something and and deceiving others into, um, and then StockX is also lending authenticity to it. Um, so there is an example here that we're gonna take a look at. Um, we have uh, the Evolving Skies booster box, uh, where um, someone else in greedy reality seventy three fifty three says, "Has anyone else?" Or has anyone experienced upside down slash out of order packs in a booster box? StockX verified, but questioning authenticity. Um, so, I mean, not that the booster packs can't be upside down, but y you gotta you gotta know you gotta check the contents of it. Um, and I think somewhere here, someone says um, StockX removed the one hundred percent authentic from everything. 
uh, and that's why they stop buying things from there. They don't do anything about it when you get a fake item. So that's a huge problem. And that's a huge reason why anyone would use a platform and maybe justify play, like paying a premium on this stuff. Um, other than like the flex baller packaging, maybe that they want to show off that they were buying from StockX. I, people like to show off that they paid more money for the same thing, right? So if that's the case, if they no longer guarantee that something's authentic, they need to put something in place where they can like actually match. And if somebody's recording the fact that they're opening something up, uh, then that's on StockX. You, you can't just, you don't get a free pass to, to just sell people fake crap and, and, and lend authenticity to something um, because of your name. Uh, even though it's somebody else that's you know owned it prior to, it's not like StockX went and bought those those uh, those boxes. So we got the unlisted leaf stuff. We got um, I guess here. Let's do a little price comparison before I leave you guys uh, for the video. we and a little maybe a little bit of a tutorial. I know this is going to be like a common sense, common knowledge for uh, for a lot of the people that are watching. But uh, here's just some some basic rules for the people that are that are wondering. So if you go on here, you can go in under. Uh, what is it? Trading cards, and you can go in under Pokemon. Uh, you can see the prices on some stuff here. Let's um, I think we had a uh, an evolving. Here we go. We got we got evolving skies. Lowest lowest ask is five hundred and one uh, dollars Canadian. Um, so if you're getting in there, you're rating around the same price as um, if not more on a lot of this stuff. And if there's no like guarantee on authenticity, five hundred four, five hundred four. Uh, then like why why are you buying it there? Also, I, I would strongly advise against um, putting money into Evolving Skies booster boxes. I get it. There's a lot of Evolving Skies packs that are around in the mixed products. I think it's unlikely that we're gonna see a reprint of the actual booster boxes, but it's not impossible. It is it is if they decide that this is gonna make them a ton of money, they might do it. It's gonna burn a ton of people. Um, in terms of like the, the value of the box. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's just one of those things. It's like, and that's why I say, it's just like, if you, if you're for some reason, um, not for some reason, but if you want to collect like one of each booster box or something, or however many of each booster box and you want to keep them sealed, whatever your intention is, just get them on release, save yourself a ton of like headache, get them on release, especially now these days where they, they the Pokemon company, for whatever reason, they're, they, they produced the booster boxes early, and then all the, the additional products recently have been non-booster box form, so then the booster boxes are kind of taken off. Will the booster boxes get reprinted? Maybe. Well, like, there's always a chance that they go down below, like, MSRP or whatever. But, but, but why, well, why, are you getting, why are you banking on that? If it's something that you actually want, just pick it up on release. If it's your, like, 100 and, 120 bucks or whatever, US, just buy it then. One, one and done. Be done with it. Keep it. If you want to open booster boxes, same thing. If you're opening packs, just I, mean, I think a lot of people have figured that out recently to just open the loose packs or mixed packs products. Pull rates are the same. Um, I'll I'll go down, go down with the ship with that that statement. Um, but uh, but yeah, the on with a large enough sample size, I should say, the, the pull rates are the same in a booster box as anything else. Booster box is going to be more consistent because they probably put the 36 packs in there just in order, and so that they're going to be distributed a little bit better. Not saying they're always perfect and always exactly the certain amount of hints because there is fluctuations even within the 36 packs in a booster box. 36 loose packs can be worse, but they can be better than a booster box, uh, but that's just kind of how it works. So if we get in here on the eBay, we can see we got, we got stuff for 400 400 uh, um, USD here. So right in around the same price. Usually there's a little bit of a premium on the StockX stuff. But the thing with the StockX stuff is just like, if they're not actually letting you, uh, StockX verified, I guess, our, our promise. Let's read the promise. We strive to earn and keep your trust. If we make a mistake, we'll make it right. So not, I mean, do they? Who knows? Can anyone, can if anyone has examples uh, where they did get resealed stuff from StunkX, I'd also love to hear about that and how they compensated you when it happened, if it was recent, if they kind of stopped doing that. Uh, that'd also be like an interesting thing to look at. So, all right. Now, the eBay stuff, I know there is a little bit of a learning curve, but if you're if you're spending four or five hundred bucks on a on a booster box. If you're spending a lot of money on a booster box, a lot of money on a, a trading card item, 
whether it's a single card, whether it's a booster box, whatever. You should not be banking on the fact that there's like an, a, a, the authenticity uh, guarantee, the authenticity check from a StockX, from an eBay. You got to know what you're looking at yourself. You got to make sure that you know that you're getting the same item from the listing because there can be some 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 mistakes in there by the authenticity people. I don't know who StockX actually hired in order to like authenticate any of this stuff. Uh, if they do like actual checks on the people that are providing the items or if they get the backstory. The backstory on an item, especially the crazy expensive extreme stuff, is very important. That can be made up, yes, but if somebody has the receipts, if they can prove start to finish, this is what happened, this is what it was, this is where I got it, I got it when it was new, uh, they have the receipt from when it was new, that's why I say, like, if you're buying a modern product and you plan on keeping it for a long time, whether you whether you intend to sell it or not, it's probably a good idea to, like, keep a record if you're online. If you're going to PSAPikachu.com and you're making an online purchase, you're going to have that receipt. You're going to be able to show that down the road. Um, so uh, if we take a look here uh, on eBay, this, this is going to give you the freedom to, to buy from somebody uh, that is reputable. So we got this one here. Yes, we got some damage on it. But you take a look here. We got... We got 5,623 feedback on this bad boy, 100% positive. Again, a scammer can have 100% positive feedback, but typically if someone's selling uh, and, and you and the non-100% feedback is usually just the person decides to fight with others on eBay, um, would recommend against doing so. It's not a good idea, but, uh, but yeah. All right, then we have uh, one here. So this is like... If we get into here, we got a cleaner box, but at the same time, we have a lower feedback individual. Um, so this is this is the kind of decisions that that eBay uh, will give you the the freedom to choose. So if you're looking for something that you're going to open it, which if, if you're opening an evolving skies booster box while they're four or five hundred dollars, you're crazy. You're absolutely nuts. I, you shouldn't be because there's such an abundance of whether or not you want to actually go break the products down yourself to get the packs to open them. Uh, or if you just want to buy, there's tons of people breaking down the packs. Now we've seen that whether they're in a hotel room or not, the people are breaking down the packs. Even the game stores have to break down the packs at this, you know, in this day and age, because the booster boxes are just not getting replenished. So in terms of opening, Definitely the way to go. Go with the loose packs. Still, if you're buying the loose packs, you gotta be buying them from somebody reputable. That's the most important thing. Even if even do not buy the slightly discounted back alley packs from Back Alley Joe, where he's you know he's 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 he potentially doing something shady. Whether it's scents that are kind of weighable. I mean, with the with the mixed products, they're probably not all that weighable. But just save yourself the time of day buy it from somewhere reputable that you know is not searching the packs that isn't resealing the packs um that isn't like storing them in their butthole or something who knows anything but regardless you can look at the feedback look at the positive feedback make sure they're selling other stuff that's the same uh there's all kinds of stuff that you can go into their actual profile we won't do it with these uh, individuals but um, that's the kind of thing that you need to be looking for if it's a big game shop and it's modern product um uh, the the odds of them trying to like reseal this crap and sell it to you is basically slim to none. Why would they ruin their own reputation for that? Um, and and also, if it's if it's a lot of money, if it's significant, make sure you record opening the box, even if it's not something that you're going to post for anyone. And maybe it's a cool thing that you just record for your own sake and, and you keep it and set it aside. But regardless, also, uh, you can you can hit up the old TCG player. Same thing applies um, on the left hand side here. You can put like near mint. Now um, with this stuff, and uh, what page are we on here? Can't remember what page we're on. We're on page two. We had to go to page two because there's a lot of people that are now um, listing like the sleeve packs instead of under the booster box listing. So you do have to like pay attention. You got to read. I know there's a lot of people that don't like to read like eBay, um, eBay listings and stuff like that. That's why pictures are important. Uh, but uh, but yeah, we had to come all the way down to here. We got 387.75. So uh, Game Boy games 16.89. Pretty awesome. Uh, 387.75. We got somebody's at the door. The dogs are barking, so we'll leave it off here. But uh, we got um, devastation. 99.9, 8,438. So these are, if you're looking at game stores here, they probably received the product new um, from a distributor, and you're going to be a whole lot safer doing that. With with vintage product, you kind of have to look into. Um, 
uh, yes, a game store, but also just like if you find people that have been in the community that have a name for themselves, uh, that have reputation, that have been selling on eBay for a long time, they can probably they probably don't mind providing the receipts with with where they got the product itself. No, it doesn't hurt. You can join the Discord. You can you, know, you can send me some pictures. You can send the Discord some pictures, and we can pick off if there's anything that looks wrong with it. But again, with pictures, even having it in person, um, sometimes the uh, if there's something obvious, we can pick it apart. But the reputation the reputation of the person selling it and the people that owned it prior to the story, the backstory, the provenance of the box itself is just as important as everything else combined. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining the Discord. Thanks for trying out the uh, the Rattle Pokemon Marketplace. If you have eBay listings that you'd like to sell, post those in the Discord eBay Sell Promotion Channel. They'll get promoted for free. Um, some of the cool ones I'll, I'll post on my main stuff, but there's also dedicated Twitter and Instagram that will be promoting those. Gets you gets you some extra views. Allows people in the Discord uh, that have been hanging out or following the uh, the social medias for it to uh, to purchase from each other which is awesome you can you can build some trust that way but also there's the fail safe of, of of ebay and i guess we didn't mention that but also the fail safe of ebay and tcg player that kind of stuff uh if StockX is no longer providing that but they're still charging more money why are you not going with something that's going to protect you i mean, I mean no you probably can't buy a box on tcg player or ebay and open it like six years from now um, but if, if it's something that you're opening, like in this case, and you find out that it's resealed or you think it's resealed or whatever, uh, you can deal with it that way. But all right, I'll let you go. That's enough rambling for today. You guys take care of each other out there and I'll see you next time. Bye.